Right, this is a, a quick instructional video from someone who has contacted me who needs his water pump uh, changing, just the water pump. What a time of the year, what a time of the year for uh, a water pump to fail. They always fail at the worst time, don't they, buddy? Um, basically, what you need to do, the first thing I would do, is take the expansion tank away. So you take that 10mm bolt out down there, okay? Then you get a span, uh, a screwdriver and just pry it in a little clip there and it should come off and then just move it aside. Okay, and that is out of the way. Then what you do is you loosen the water pump pulley, taking off those four 10 mil bolts. And there's two ways of doing this. You can either take those bolts out if the belt is tight enough where the um, pulley won't spin when you try and take them off. If it does spin, there is a technique I've got. And basically what you do, excuse the light. Come on, stay there. But what I do is I get, obviously this is a 10 mil, this is a 10 mil spanner, this is the size you need, okay? But what I also do is get another spanner, like a 13 mil, and just put it across the other two bolts. So when you're loosening the bolt you wanna loosen, you're holding the pulley still using the spanner between the other bolts, the other little bolts. But if you can get it off with the belt being tight enough, then if you can loosen them all up, you're, you're, in, you're in for a win. So once you've loosened them bolts out, then take the tensioner, slacken the tension off, because it'll be a big belt, presumably you've got going that way, you've got um, a stretch belt, and then you usually whip the belt off. That's that done. Now, because you're only replacing the water pump, you don't have to disturb any of the alternator in this bracket in anything. All you have to do is, next step would be to release these three bolts. Okay, I'll just crack off all these. Obviously, you've got a jack underneath the engine. So put a jack and a block of wood to support the engine, okay? And then crack off these three bolts. You've got to take this, um, this plastic, um, Come on, torch. This plastic throttle thing which holds your throttle cable, this bit can snap, so just pry it up gently, okay? And then you can literally pull this off uh, the, other, the other nut, okay? Just be careful, that can snap. And then you take off these three nuts and the engine will drop. Then, to get better access, I would recommend you take this mount off. So basically, you've got the coolant bottle out the way. There's a bolt just underneath it down just there where the torch is the head of the torch and then you've got that bolt there and then you've got that bolt there take all three of them out and then lift the whole mount off it will come off with that plate okay and then that's all out the way then you've got better access then you've got access to the top better access to the timing cover so there's a couple of bolts there's one down there that one there by the the end of the torch uh there's one here there's one here, there's one at the back over there. It is the fiddly thing getting the time about cover off, and there's one here. And I think, oh yeah, there's one there that connects to the water pump housing. And there's one there, okay? Take the whole cover away, okay? You should just be able to slide it off. And then you'll have access to the water pump. Now the water pump is held on by, I believe, about five, eight millimeter bolts. Um, obviously, I think before you do this, I would recommend, presumably, um, you've got the coolant. If you've got the coolant, um, then I would suggest this is an opportunity to drain the system. So you take the drain plug out the bottom of the radiator um, and that will drain a lot of the block of the water. Obviously, some water will come out when you pull the pump. Um, but it's a good opportunity to actually get your cooling system sorted. If you are going to do that, if you're just topping up, then just take the pump out, let the water out, and then just um, replenish the system as best you can. But if you want to do a bit of a more follow-up, take the radiator drain bung out, let the system... Um, empty itself as much as possible and then you go from there um, water pumps are not too of much of a hassle they should come with a gasket when you take it out um, there should be a gasket uh, top tip when you've got when you're releasing all five bolts go very steadily 
okay because remember these bolts the water pump is made of steel and it's going into an aluminium block so the bolts might be tight they're not very big bolts they're only eight mil little bolts but i've known them to shear so just a word of caution they shouldn't shear just be gentle and they will come out it's not an issue um, and then realistically that's it you just pull it out and the new one presumably comes with a gasket um, just make sure that you put the gasket uh, on correctly it should go out there should be a little um, uh, a little dowel for the water pump to go on uh, I think there's a dowel for the gasket to go on and there's a dowel on the block so you can't get it the wrong way around just make sure you've taken all the water pump bolts out. There is a case, and I did this myself, where I took, I thought I'd taken all the bolts out, but there was one bolt I hand taken out underneath the water pump where you can't really see. Um, and I wondered why it wouldn't come off. So just make sure, if it won't come off, then there's a bolt you've missed. And that's really it, just it, fitting is the reversal. Fit the new pump, you don't need any blimmin' sealant. I mean, some people say put a bit of Harlemar on or silicon, don't do that. Just put it on as it is they don't leak they don't leak from where they sit against the engine they leak where mine leaks at the end um if they're not a very good one um but you should be okay with that and then fitting is the reverse so literally put the water pump back on to, obviously torque the bolts up if you can if you've got a torque wrench i think about 10 newton meters it's very it's pretty much like hand tight and then a nip if you haven't got one then you put the cover back on then you put the mount back on and tighten those bolts up uh, i think it's about 60 newton meters that they'll that will be good enough for that and about 60 to 8 i think it's about 60 or 70 newton meters for these obviously make sure the these bolts line up when you jack the engine up uh, to get those studs through but that's really simple and then you put the uh, cover back on whip the belt back on with a tensioner and fill the system and when you're filling the system i would recommend squeezing all the hoses leave the cap off leave the engine to run until it gets to temperature again okay check for leaks just in case be clean run it to temperature and then it will basically once the fans kick in that's it turn the engine off leave it overnight come back to it in the morning and the level would have dropped the air would have bled out the system top up to the max and you're done i hope that helps you um so um yeah it we've got your name sorry is it it's alex isn't it yeah sorry i was looking at my uh my whatsapp then so alex that's how you do this job uh, for all those of you who are actually watching it as well this is simply if you're replacing the water pump on its own and it's quite simply the case of that uh you know most people tend to do this quite a bit i always replace it all in one go with the timing belt but sometimes <laughs> these little things force your hand if that pump goes on me i'm gonna have to do the same thing on this um so that was in, that's an instruction video and i hope that helps you alex um i've tried to make it as clear as possible what i do um that's really all you need to do okay hopefully that helps you